Hey you guys, welcome back to the Divinely Guide and my name is Shante and today's reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. I want to thank everyone that has subscribed, the ones that hasn't, haven't subscribed and you're just watching. I know one thing for sure, you was Divinely Guided here. So I just want to go ahead and thank you. If it does resonate, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know something you guys. So this reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio, so just give me a moment and we're going to go ahead and get to what we came here for you guys. No small talk. Divine light, the highest order, protection of Archangel Michael. Divine light, the highest order, and protection of Archangel Michael. I invite my spirit guides and Scorpio, spirit guides and guardian angels into this healing session. Any messages of love, life, career, or anything that the Scorpio collective need to hear on today, can you please speak through the cards for me? I thank you in advance. Thank you, spirit. Too much shepherds, you guys. <clears throat> Hope everything been going good with you guys. Everything is okay on my end. Someone could be finding the strength, the courage. I see a reunion, a celebration, coming together. It could be with old friends, family, co-workers. It could be with somebody that you have been away from. I see somebody being very nurturing, very adventurous, very creative, very passionate, beautiful, nurturing. And it's like could have a very high intuition or you could have a high intuition you can pick up on things easily I see action being taken towards it's a slow moving action though but it's something that's trying to come in something that you have been waiting for someone could be very spiritual learning something going back to school we're going to see what's going on here I see you left something, you walked away, you gave up, you threw in the towel, you felt defeated. It was a lot of conflict. Yeah, you're you're that nurturing person. I'm picking yeah. You're the one that cares, that motherly figure, the one who can do multiple things at one time. You gave up on something, you threw in the towel. It could have been, I don't like saying this, you guys, but it could have been a third-party situation here because I had the Three of Cups. And you walked away from something. You could have walked away from a relationship or a job. Someone is watching. Someone is, is watching you. You're watching someone. But you had a tired moment. You had a tired moment and something came crashing down. It had to burn down because it wasn't firm. It could be around a commitment as well. You're releasing something. You're letting it go. A cycle has ended here. All of that stressing and worrying, being up, not able to sleep, stressing, anxiety. And it could be around a commitment or a marriage. You're releasing it. You're letting go. Yeah, there's a, uh, the tower, the, my lover's card clarified the tower. So there was something within a relationship, something that could have been long term. It was long lasting. Could have been a marriage. It could have had put a while into this relationship and something came tumbling down. Something was being, somebody was being sneaky. Somebody had two decisions. They had to decide. Which way to go? Which journey to start? What way to choose? Somebody had a decision. Someone is is thinking quickly. It's like 
you're trying to make a, a decision real fast. Or you made the decision real fast to get up and leave. To throw in the towel because it was conflict there. Someone got very detached. Started being to their self. Not really being around people. But a caring person. A loyal person. A loving person. You need to release these burdens in order for you to heal. You have to go in and heal yourself because... You're releasing it. You had a tired moment. Something came crashing. Now it burned down to ashes. But it has to burn in order to rebuild you guys. Yeah. Cycles are ending. I, and I think this got a lot to do around the, the full moon and Scorpio you guys. But somebody's like. They're thinking now. They, they're thinking. I can't even say you're thinking clearly. You're making a rational move. And it would bring it actually it would bring you happiness. It would it would bring you happiness and that peace if you make the decision and you might have to think quick. Cause I'm seeing somebody is becoming independent, having to stand on their own. It's like you're having to come into your self worth. But you you're gonna be able to do that or someone has became single and I also see that someone wants forgiveness somebody wants to come in and ask you for your forgiveness something was destined to happen it was it was it was divinely timed it's like the seasons we have no control over the seasons we have no control over this but something slowly happened or so it's finna be a, a a change. You're finna see a change because cycle is ending. Someone is having to make a decision. Somebody is juggling. Someone could be getting ready to travel as well. Somebody is juggling, and when you juggle, sooner or later you will drop. You can only juggle for so long. So it's like you need a decision. Somebody needs to make a decision here. Yeah, it's around a, a union. It could have been once equally balanced. Everybody was on the same page. But I see somebody became independent around this union. Somebody is standing alone. Somebody is trying to see which way to go. Which journey they want to take now. It was a lot of conflict and a lot of arguing. You could even had people that would just pick a fight with you. Just to just to, to rouse you up, to make you blow. You know what I'm saying? And it could have also been people on the outside that was keeping up a lot of mess. It's a lot of arguing, a lot of petty fight, a lot of, you know, just conflict. Unnecessary conflict. Yeah, something is ending. And it's something... You've been waiting on something. You're you're waiting on something. With this new change, with this cycle ending, it's going to put you in a position to be waiting. Yeah, it was the final chapter. It's closing out. I got <clears throat> one, two, three, three tens on the board. Something is ending a cycle. You you have worked hard on this union. I mean, it's like you put in so much work. And it's like, there's nothing more you can do. There's a lot of arguing, a lot of conflict. Could have, yeah, around a commitment of marriage. Somebody is wanting to come in and try to make you an offer. Somebody is going to make a decision, you guys. They're going to pick something. And they're going to try to come in and present it to you. Yeah, they're going to try to come in very quickly. They're going to try to come in passionate. But see, with my Knight of Wands, he's the, he's the type to come in 
and leave. Come and go. Come and go. Let me get another deck, you guys, and see if we can pick up some of the same messages here. I'm at 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, somebody's looking for that happiness. And somebody became single. It, 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 I, I hate saying third party. But that's what I'm picking up from this. I don't see a celebration, a time to celebrate here. I'm saying it was it was more than the acquired number for a relationship. Yeah, something is ending. Somebody, you have to release those. You have to release what's been causing you to have that stress and anxiety in order for you to heal. You have to start healing here because a new chapter is trying to start for you guys. Yeah, I got the Nine of Pentacles again. Somebody's becoming single, having to stand on their own. You you need that time to yourself. You need that alone time. You need to go. Start listening to your intuition, following your instincts. Your angel hangs out in our guts. You have to go off that gut feeling, you guys. Somebody had options, yeah. See, somebody needs to go into solitude and withdraw, find peace. It's like you know what it is that you want, but you need to go in and pull away and be to yourself right now. Yeah, you're strong. You're very strong and you're independent. You can stand on your own. It's like you see through the bull. You see right through the bull. You're going to be secure. You're, you're not going to have any financial issues. I'm feeling that you're not. You're not going to have any financial issues. Somebody worked hard on this. On this relationship. On this union. I mean like. They worked hard. Yeah, somebody could have been given to more than one situation. It wasn't an equal give and take. It wasn't balanced out, you guys. But it's time for it. With this world card, I told you something is ending. This chapter is closing. It's time for you to take this new, this leap into the unknown, this leap of faith. Start this new journey. Something is being presented to you guys. Yeah. Presenting it to you. You need to make a move. You need to make a plan. You need to take action. You need to move forward. You need to take a plan of action and go with it. Can I have one call for the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio? Scorpio, you know I haven't done y'all a video in a month. Oh. Anyway, can I have one call for the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio? I thank you in advance, spirit. Thank you. Yeah, you're leaving. You're finna start a new journey. You're leaving everything that you're emotionally attached to. You're moving away. You're finna start this new journey. Like I said, the fool card is here. You're finna start this new journey. Somebody had options. Somebody became independent, had to stand on their own. It was juggling. And that juggling probably brought them happiness. But you know, once you juggle for so long... It drops. So my my advice to you, Scorpio, is go in and heal yourself. Pull away. It's easier said than done, but you need to take time to yourself. And with my where is she? My high priestess here. You don't need to get in between any battles with nobody. You need to be alone. You don't need to be the peacemaker. You don't need to pick sides with nobody. You just need to go in. And being alone does not mean being lonely. You need to follow your intuition. You, your, your, you, your intuition is very high here. Because I have the high priestess and the queen of cups. Your intuition is high. Y'all, I want to pull another card for y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and end this. If it resonates, like, subscribe. Leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know something. Um, but I want to thank y'all for choosing to finally got it. Y'all have a good one.